Hi students, it's Miss Tiffany. So good to have you back. Are you ready for another art project? Today, we're gonna use motion to make art. I'm gonna demonstrate a lot of different ways you might do that. Like using a rolling pen or toy cars or even bubbles or a squirt gun. Before we get started, we need to go over our guidelines for success. You could say them or sign them along with me. We are stars. Stay positive. Try your best. Always be helpful. Respect yourself and others. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate lots of different ways that you can use motion to make art. For this project, the supplies you use is up to you and what you have available. As you can see, there's lots of supplies you can use to make artwork using motion with your bodies. So go ahead and watch the options available first and then see what you might have. Or maybe you can come up with your own way to make art using motion. Please feel free to pause this video at any time. Let's go ahead and start with the first way that you can use motion to make art. And today I was going to use a toy car because the motion of the wheels moving across the paper can make some really cool effects. You're gonna need a piece of paper and I went ahead and covered my area with newspaper to keep my area clean. And then you'll need your toy car. And you might want a paintbrush possibly. I'm going to go ahead and use some black paint but you could do this without a paintbrush as well by just putting the paint on the paper. Or you can also take that paint and paint onto your wheels. We want the wheels to be what puts the paint all over the paper. So see what works best for you. And then you just play. And different cars are gonna do different things. So see what kind of cool artwork you come up with. You can also use more than one color of paint if you wanted to. Let's see what happens when I add some silver to my tires on my toy car here. For this next one, we're gonna use motion to make a painting as well. And for this, I'm using a cookie sheet, but you could also just use a cardboard box. And I'm going to tape my paper inside like this. And I also have my area covered again, just in case. And I'm going to use marbles to make some artwork today. If you don't have marbles, you can also use ping pong balls, or any sort of hard plastic ball that can roll around the paper. I've seen people use plastic Easter eggs. You could do that as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and use marbles today. So if you have those at home, you could do that too. I'm going to go ahead and roll my tape up like that and put it inside my painting so that I can secure it down. Then I can set these marbles in here and start deciding on my paint colors. I'm gonna go with red. I'm just gonna put it right onto the cookie sheet. That was a lot of paint. Let's do red and gold. That sounds fun.
Let's spread this red paint around. And now you're just going to use motion to move the marbles around to make your painting. You can do this as long as you feel like. And that's my finished painting. You can do as many colors as you want and use as many marbles or balls that you might have at home and see what different paintings you come up with. For this next option, I'm gonna use a potato masher. So I can stamp it into paint and stamp it on my paper. I'm going to use a paper plate for this as well. I think I will use some green paint and some blue paint. And then I'll just stamp it all over. So I'll be using the motion of me stamping to make some artwork. shapes of potato mashers at home or you could use cookie cutters
that's just another way you can use motion and your hands to make art. For this next one, I'm going to use bubbles. Now I already have bubbles at home and I went ahead and mixed it with paint. So these are gonna be colorful bubbles. So I have some pink ones here, orange here, and some blue. So we're gonna use some motion to make some artwork with our bubbles. I'm gonna use a straw for this. If you have a bubble one, you can use that too. I'm just going to dip it into the bubbles and then pop. And when they pop, they make fun shapes. So if you have some bubbles at home and you don't mind adding some paint to them, you can do this, or you can even add food coloring. You can also try just putting pools of liquid on your paper. You can use paint or watercolors or watered down paint along with these bubbles, and then use your straw to blow the liquid around. at any time. And there's just another fun way that you can use motion to make artwork. For this next one, I will be using another household item to make art using motion. It's very similar to the bubbles, whereas I have a spray bottle that I've added some paint and water to. And then I'm gonna spray my paper with the concoction. You could also do this outside, or you could tape your paper to a wall and spray it, and that would be pretty fun too. <laughs> excited to see how this is going to look when it's dry. So now I have to give it the time to dry. You can also just add 
food coloring to your water as well. Let's see how that works out for you. For this next one, I'm gonna use a cookie sheet and some rubber bands. First, I'm going to tape down my paper to my board. And then I'm going to put my rubber bands around my cookie sheet. And then I'm going to use a paintbrush to paint onto my rubber bands. For this, I'm gonna use some paint I already have ready right onto the rubber bands. This one can get a little bit messy, but now you just play with the rubber bands. See what kind of fun things happen. over my hands and my arm here, but that is okay. Sometimes we make a mess in art while we're creating our masterpieces. Out of the 
And there's my finished art piece. You could try making the rubber bands go this way too and see how that turns out for you. This one was pretty cool. Okay, this will be my last one to show you how we can use motion and our hands and our bodies and our movement to make art. So I'm gonna start with this. It's kind of like a miniature rolling pin, but if you have a rolling pin, please feel free to use it. And then I'm also gonna put some rubber bands on the outside. Now you could wrap your rolling pin in saran wrap first before you put paint on it, because I will be using paint with this today. Or you could also use things like bubble wrap or foil. And if you don't have any rubber bands, you can also try using yarn. Or you could do it without putting anything on it. It's up to you. But I thought I would add some sort of a pattern with my rubber bands, like so, to see what happens when I try to print it onto the paper. Next, I'm gonna need a paintbrush. If you wanted to, you could also just put the paint straight on to the paper whatever works for you. But I thought I'd try painting it on first. There we go. And then you're gonna go ahead and just roll it onto your paper. Once you run out, you can do more. projects. I hope you had fun using motion to make artwork with me today and maybe you came up with some new ways to do this. I will see you next time. Bye!